guys welcome back to our youtube i know it's been a minute since our last upload in our last episode we shared with you how we cladded the van painted the van finished the window frames on the back doors and how we applied the material to the awkward areas of the van in this episode part four we'll be sharing with you how we built our sofa bed and any finishing touches we've done before we move on to the kitchen and the storage unit <laughs> So it's been raining the past two days. It's not that we can't work on the van build, we just hate working on the build when it's tipping it down. So we're gonna head to Ikea today. We need to pick up the worktop, um, some curtain accessories, and just, uh, just some bits and bobs for the van build. So we'll see you there. When the truth don't work, you start telling lies. Thought you were down the ride, you weren't down the ride. Caught switching, you were picking sides. Don't blink, caught slipping like a slip and slide. I was shooting dice till I got a nosebleed. We just got back from IKEA and I wanted to show you the goodies we bought. The first up being the kitchen worktop, which is way too big to carry on screen, so I'll show you that when we put it into the build. The next up are these pop valves blinds, two of these for the back windows. Um, these actually have a honeycomb structure inside so they work as insulation too. We also grab some handles, we've got cupped handles for the sofa bed and then these hooped handles and normal handles for the kitchen and storage unit. We also grabbed these clips for curtains as we're going to have a curtain between the cab front and the little home and last but not least are some spice racks. Everyone has to have a spice rack in their home. These are so convenient, not just for spices, but for anything. So we grabbed a couple of these. We're not sure where we're gonna put them yet, but I'm sure we'll find a home. Right, so the next big thing that we need to put into the van is the sofa bed. Now, this is gonna be a fixed size, so everything else really has to just fit around it, which is why we're doing this first. Um, but this is what's gonna make up sort of the front section um, and part of the like trunk. It's essentially gonna be in two bits. You're gonna have a fixed trunk at the back, and then you're gonna have the moving pull-out section at the front. So what we need to do is get this all fixed together, um, make a couple of these, and then we can start framing it all up with the laths uh, the next piece that we're going to do is actually going to be going right against the back. So you can see there's the section missing just here. That's where the wheel arch is going to go. Um, it's kind of upside down when you're looking at it now. Um, but that's going to fit into the very back wall and become the back of the fixed part of the sofa. No. They say if you can't beat them, then you join them. No. That's no option, I don't join, I always beat them. Yeah. I was fake, I had to find me. Now I'm on B skating like I'm grinding. Okay, so we've got a couple of those bits that we've um, cut inside the van just to get an idea of how it's going to look and sort of the space that it's going to take up. Um, so that's going to be the back section of the sofa bed and we've got another sort of front panel the same as this one or front frame which is going to be in front of this um, with laths going to the back and then that's going to pull out like that and make the full um, sofa bed which is going to be just a little bit smaller than a small double. So we've got all of these bits of laths cut to length, um, pre-drilled and pre-countersunk so that they're ready to fix right into the frame. Now what we basically need to do is just go through with these little bits of 18mm plank which is just offcuts of these bits of wood use them as spacers for each end as we're going along which means that they'll be spaced out enough so that when you're pulling it in and out it's not going to bind and get stuck be really tricky to move so we'll get all of these fixed in place Okay, so we've got the slats fixed in place. Um, now it's still a little bit stiff when we're pulling it out and pushing it in. And that is basically because you can see here, this bit there, um, which is essentially a reinforcing strut, which is holding up the back of the pullout section. The gap that is between that reinforcing strut and the slat above is pretty tight. Um, it is the exact thickness of that bit of wood. So it's, you know, it gets a little bit stuck um, as we're sort of pulling it out and pushing it in. So in order to fix that, we can just shave a little bit off that, just the hair off the sort of thickness of that, so that as it's pulling in and out, it's not gonna get stuck. 
Right, so to finish this off, um, one thing that we want to do is put a back panel on here to cover all that up. And then because we've built the frame um, on the front, what we want to do is get a face frame on there, um, just to you know give it this kind of seamless look across the front. Um, and then when the drawer fronts are in, it'll just be nice and flush and it'll look really neat. Right, so we've got a couple of pieces cut here um, for the drawer boxes that are going to go under the bed. And just to show you how we're doing this, we've got this uh, track that we built um, for our circular saw over there. Now this is based off a design um, from a YouTube channel called One Minute Workbench. We've now got our three drawer boxes. So we've got um, this one, which is one of the shorter ones, this one, which is the longer one, and then that's another short one. Now, these are pretty massive drawer boxes. Um, they're gonna be going under the bed. Now, the reason that we've made them this big is because really it's probably more likely to be squidgy things going in there, kind of like bedding, clothes, things like that. And if we had this, you know, maybe half as tall, um, all of that kind of squidgy stuff has the potential to just kind of spread out and go outside of the box, potentially getting stuck when the drawers are being pulled out. That's why we've made it so big, um, and there's going to be some really robust uh, drawer boxes. So we just need to get the fronts on these, um, get the runners fitted, and then those will be able to get positioned under the bed. Okay, so we've been working on the drawer fronts. Now we've got this um, cut out, which is just 6mm MDF, and that's going to act as the main base for the drawer front. Then we've got these frame pieces, which are basically going to go in all of these sides and make a nice framed drawer front like that. So we'll glue all of that down, clamp it in place. Now these are basically just seven centimeters um, wide uh, to make up the frame. And we've just cut bits off the offcuts that we had from making these actual panels and the rest of the MDF stuff that we've cut. Okay, so we've got that draw front all glued and clamped together. Um, so when that's done, we can give it one final sand and then give it a coat of MDF primer. I nearly forgot to film this, that's why I've already started painting. Um, but what I'm doing is priming the draw fronts to the drawers in the sofa bed. Um, we have used 6mm MDF to build them and we are using this Leyland Trade MDF primer. So I'm just gonna paint these now and then afterwards we can finish it with our farron ball or white paint. So the MDF primer has now dried, so I've given it all a light sanding, and I'm just going over it now with this Baron Ball Estate Eggshell All White Paint. It's the same paint we used in Van Delft as well, and we absolutely love it. It gives it a really, really good finish. So that's the first layer of paint now done. I've got to wait about four hours for the second layer to be applied. I'm off to work now anyway, so by the time I should get back, these should be ready for their second coat. Okay, so for this side section, um, we've got pieces of cladding cut, uh, which we're just gonna put in place and screw down now to cover up that whole section. Billy's now finished building the side face for the sofa bed, so I'm just gonna fill all the screw holes with this multi-purpose wood filler from Wix. So the filler is now complete, I've just got to wait for it to dry, so I'm going to move on to MDF priming the front face of the sofa bed. So I'm now going to MDF prime the front face and then prime um, the top of these slats. We're going to go with um, painting just the, the inch on these slats here, so it's the same thickness as the frame, so it will run along. So I'm just going to mask and tape that all up so it's not a messy job. 
Like I'm next to God, so next to God, next to next to God. Never not, never under ya, never ever, I'm forever on. Check my repertoire, check my repertoire, don't check me not. Less is checks involved. I've been feeling like I'm next to God, so next to God, next to next to God. So that is the MDF primer complete on the front face. Just gotta wait for it to dry along with the filler on the side face. So then tomorrow I can give it a complete sand um, where I can then get ready to paint it all. So I think we're going to call it a wrap on today as we now head into a party and we'll see you tomorrow. Real high summer, keep my cool, I never act out. Hey, 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 yes indeed, recognise what you want. Okay, so as you can see, we've got one of the drawer fronts fitted. So we just need to get the other ones on here spaced correctly, um, fixed in place. And then we're basically just going to be putting the handles on. That's pretty much the bed finished then. Don't check me not, let's just check some bob I've been feeling like I'm next to God So next to God, next to next to God Never not, never under ya, never ever I'm forever on, check my rep and not Check my repertoire, don't check me not Let's just check some bob I've been feeling like I'm next to God So next to God, next to next to God I get up, had to get it by myself Bad decisions had me living down in hell Paranoia, so I keep it by my belt Lose the sleep, I know this lean won't be no help Nah, it's no contest, S on my chest So we've got these cup handles from Ikea They're about 9 centimeters long And it says on the front actually from screw to screw they're 64 mil. So I'm going to measure that out on the top part of the drawer front here So they'll be sat around there there's a handle. So we have now finished the sofa bed and I am super super happy. I think it looks amazing but maybe I'm just being biased. But let us know what you think about it in the comments below. Next up on this video we're going to be sharing with you some of the finishing touches we have done to the van before we move on to the kitchen and the storage unit. Um, we did film these whilst we were building the sofa bed um, so you might find that the footage is from different points and the bed may be finished and then unfinished and then finished again but we just thought it was easier if we put it all at the end so you can see the sofa bed as a whole. Now in order to get this trim fitting correctly uh, because we've got an area of the door that sort of fixes into the closing mechanism and locking mechanism here we've actually had to notch out a little bit there and then also where we screw um, into the floor for this supporting bracket We've notched out a couple of pieces that just means that the screws can go through that and connect to the floor. Um, we've also just trimmed a couple of the edges here where it kind of goes up against some of the sealant um, and some of the, some of the metal work in the very, very far corners um, so that this will slide in and fix in place nicely. <laughs> see we've now got the trim in place there running underneath the bed frame um, so we've just basically notched out a little slither underneath there um, and that will all be covered up uh, so it'll be nice and flush with the with the trim and we've countersunk these holes especially in this point where the bed frame is actually going to be sliding over this when you pull it out so we don't want it to be getting caught or roughing up that edge so we've got that countersunk nicely so it's not gonna not gonna catch um, so we've got to clean up all of these little bits of aluminium but then that trim is done on that end right so we're just in the process of taping up uh, the seals because what we're gonna do um, is spray paint this side door now there's a couple of marks and a couple of chips um, and it's looking a little bit dirty so we just want to take the seals off get everything taped up and get the spray paint on there um, to cover it all up everything taped up, everything covered that we need to. Um, now the only other thing that we're going to do before we actually get spraying this is we're going to heat the van up a little bit. This works best as per the instructions at about 10 to 25 degrees. Now it's pretty cold outside today um, and therefore it's pretty cold in the van. So we're going to just get a heater on um, as we're spraying it just to make sure that it dries with a nice decent coat. Working 
working on getting this rope um, edging trim attached, which is gonna go all the way around here um, to give that a nice finish. So we're just using hot glue um, to attach it. Um, it dries pretty quick, so we can pretty much leave it unclamped, but just to be sure, as we go every now and then, I'm just gonna clamp it along. Okay, so we've got this rope trim fixed in place which is making that edge nice and neat. So to cover up this side section, um, we've scribed a piece um, of the flooring to put in that section. Um, so that's gonna go underneath here, and then we're gonna finish it with some of this aluminium angle just to give it a bit of rigidity. Um, and when people are coming in and out, that's gonna prevent this from getting damaged. video thank you to everyone for staying tuned and so sorry for the delay in this upload i hope you enjoyed watching it if you did please please give us a thumbs up subscribe to our channel and hit the bell button to sign up to our notifications thank you and see you on our next upload